It's Saturday, August 12, 2023, and we're at Tangaroa Cherish checking out the breakfast menu. And these are the thick and fluffy Japanese pancakes, which are vanilla pancakes topped with tropical fruit blend, starfish, and guava syrup served with bacon. This is the Loco Moco burrito, which is steamed jasmine rice, chopped garlic beef patty, a fried egg, gravy, crunchy fried onions, and furkaki served with salsa roa. You're welcome. I had to go next door. And finally, this is the short rib steak and eggs with scrambled eggs, marinated short rib, and sweet potato medley served with a pineapple wedge. Starting with the uh, thick and fluffy Japanese pancakes, um, very souffle-like. You don't see starfish fruit very often, and it was really good. Or actually star fruit, but it does look like a starfish. I like the rest of the tropical fruit medley with it. Uh, the whole thing's a little sweet combined, but it, they're very good. And I do like these souffle style pancakes. Uh, the only complaint would be is probably the bacon could have been cooked a little bit more. It's a little bit fatty, uh, not quite as crisp as I would like it. But overall, I would definitely recommend the uh, pancakes. As for the short rib steak and eggs, the eggs were decently scrambled. It could have been a little bit more fluffier. I really like the uh, sauce, the marinade they put on the short rib. Short rib themselves, uh, pretty good. Um, like I said, really like the sauce. Uh, apparently the sweet potato medley is old news. These are just your standard uh, home fries and they're actually pretty good. Again, could have been a little bit more crispy on the outside, but uh, it's still very potatoey on the inside. And last but not least was the Loco Moco burrito. Uh, definitely fits a Loco Moco. The only thing that was really lacking, in my opinion, was the egg. One egg in this size burrito just doesn't go very far at all. <laughs> um, the one thing that probably was not legit is the salsa roa that they serve with it. That's not something that you would find in Hawaii, I don't think. But uh, it does go with the burrito very well, and it's got a nice little kick to it. And of course, I love the pineapple. Fresh pineapple is really awesome, and it definitely fits into the theme of the restaurant. Just one more small note, perhaps it was a little lacking in gravy, and maybe a side of gravy would have been more fitting for this particular dish as opposed to the salsa. I mean, the salsa, you think of burritos, you think of salsa, but this is supposed to be Hawaiian, and a very specific Hawaiian dish, so. Uh, yeah, probably the gravy over the uh, salsa. One last thing, uh, the ambiance uh, fits the islands, especially if you can hear the background music. And a shout out to Logan, who is one of the cast members here, who went up and beyond when we found out that my wife, who believes everything's better with butter, couldn't find any butter at the Tangaroa Terrace, it appears he went all the way to Goofy's Kitchen and grabbed us some butter, so that was highly appreciated and that's some great customer service. And I think I'm gonna wrap up the review.